That's if you have doubts. If you don't have doubts, if you're afflicted by desires, then for that is another cure, my friends. For that is another cure. What is the cure for that? The cure for that without doubt is coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and finding, finding peace and tranquility and pleasure in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Islam. Sometimes we think, for example, there is no pleasure in Islam. Some, sometimes people ask the question, subhanAllah, look at Islam. It's all about prayers and fasting. It's all about zakat and hajj. Where is the pleasure in that? Wallahi subhanAllah, if you knew, if you knew the pleasure that a believer feels when he thinks about Allah and when he does a good deed, Wallahi, you would fight us for it. Wallahi, if you feel, if you were to just feel the pleasure that I feel in my heart when I travel sometimes, you know, 25 hours in a plane in order to give one talk only. If you were to feel the pleasure in my heart when someone says, thank you, brother, Zakullah khair for that, I like that talk, it made me fear Allah. If you could feel just that, my friends, wallahi, you would fight me for it. And this is why they used to say, if the Ahl, uh, the, 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 the ahl Kufr and Batil, if the, if the people of disbelief and falsehood, if they only knew what the people of belief, the, 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 the beauty that they have in their hearts, the sanctity and the Jannah that they feel in this life, wallahi, they would fight us for it. Unfortunately, they are blind to it, and partly because of the fact that we have not expressed it and showed it to them. And as a result, they are not fighting us for that, for that, for that Islam as well, my friends. Truly, my friends, I remember we were in the, in the, uh, in the Prophet's mosque, and our Shaykh, Fadilat al-Shaykh, Shanqiti, Hafidahullah, he was giving us a beautiful lesson. And wallahi, he could give the most boring of lessons regarding talaq or something of, of, of a woman's menstruation or something, but subhanAllah, it would cause the hairs on the back of my, my neck to rise up. I'm not hairy, by the way, but still it would cause the hairs on the back of my neck to rise up in fear of Allah, wallahi, and the awe and, the, and just the presence of, of taqwa that I would see on the Shaykh's face. My friends, uh, I, I remember once a question was asked, Ya Shaykh, I need to get married. <laughs> okay? He goes, Ya Shaykh, I need to get married. And wallahi, I can't find too much, I'm, I'm distracted. And I can't find pleasure, and, I'm, and I can't concentrate, and I'm having these difficulties. Subhanallah, the Shaykh became quiet, and tears rolled down his eyes. He said, how is it possible that a person, by the way, the Shaykh is not married. He's 45 or 47, and he's not married. So he goes, how is it possible for a person to remember Allah and not feel purity and blessing in his heart that, 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 that suffices him from all the difficulties? How is it possible, my friends? Truly, at the end of the day, fine. Get married, my friends. Do, do that, please. Get married. Protect yourselves and make sure that you are sanctified and secured from all that fitna. Yes, do that. But at the ultimate day, ultimately, ultimately you can get married to as many women as you want, but you'll still have that fitna in your heart if you're not at peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're not at peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this deen, my friends, you will have that difficulty in your heart. You can protect and guard yourself with all the, all the provisions, but if you're not satisfied in your heart, wallahi, you'll have that burning, that, that, that pain in your heart that, that nothing can, can, can cure.